Testing one, two, three. Testing one, two, three. <laughs> testing one, two, three. Testing one, two, three. Testing one, two, three. Testing one, two, three. Thank you for the resubscribe. Oh my god. Yes, and of course we have these things back on. I need to get a glass of water, but we'll be starting shortly. Just let me adjust everything in the meanwhile. There we go. Oh god, they won't stop. They won't stop. Ow, 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 ow. Ow. Corey, howdy. Never ends. Oh, it does have an end. I actually cut the number of objects that's thrown in my face in half. I'll be right back. I need to get some water for hydration. And then we'll get started. We'll jump right into the game. All right, I need to attach my mic. Water has been acquired. Not mic, uh, my headphones. There we go. Who goes there? Whose text do I see there? Howdy. Howdy, howdy, howdy. How are you doing, Corey? How are you tonight? Revising for exam. What exam do you have coming up? Uh, uni entrance exam, so studying for physics. Oh, I see. Well, good luck on your exam. I hope you get into the university of your choice. <laughs> I don't think Corey is from the States. I'm pretty sure they're also from Southeast Asia. From Malaysia, in fact, if I'm guessing correctly. Because we don't really have entrance exams here in the States either. We have the SAT and ACT, which are less like entrance exams and more like a placement testing. Oh, you're from Vietnam. My bad. I thought I just assumed that you were also from... Uh, well, I guess Vietnam is also a Southeast Asian nation, so... I wonder how good this game's gonna run with all the uh, graphics set to maximum. I'm gonna burn my graphics card. Display aspect ratio 16.9. Enable tripper buffering. We don't need VSync though. No 
Okay. Cool. It's been a while since I've had to change the graphics settings using a, se a separate setup instead of the in-game options, so that was interesting. I hope this runs properly. <laughs> it's been a long time since I've played Deus Ex. Uh, I think Steam said I haven't played it since 2013 or something? Damn. We're going to be playing, even though I set Twitch to display that we're playing in the um, Director's Cut version, we're actually playing the original, original version from when it first came out. Because the Director's Cut version apparently has a lot of problems. So I figured, why bother, right? Well, one thing's for sure. Um, it's bu definitely butter smooth so far, video. Let me go to scene. That's a uh, human revolution. Oh, I fucked up. I done fucked up now. There we go. Okay. Um, game capture should be. All right. Thanks for the alert, Corey. <laughs> and thank you for coming tonight. Ace, enjoying your drink, I bet, while uh, chilling out with us, I'm sure. Let's make Lumosity fairly low. Get the darker and edgier feel. Display mode, refresh rate said max, resolution is 1920. All the post-processing, all the depth of field, all the shadows. And as far as I could tell from looking at OBS, it appears that my model is fairly smooth. Let me just get my hands on, huh? I have this, I have, um, I have Afterburner actually looking over my processing processor right now. And it appears to be, I'm not even using 100% of CPU resources. This game is old enough that I can finally once again run my model and also the game itself without having to compromise. On the Steam form, supposedly the reason why the Director's Cut has issues is because it was made for the Wii U. Gosh, that's an old system. And it was locked at 30 FPS for some whatever the fuck reason. I haven't really looked into what differences the Director's Cut has between and this one. I do not agree with some of the changes they made to the lighting, so out of a combination of laziness and also familiarity, we're going to be playing the original, original DSX Human Revolution. Behold, I once again have hands. Alright, without further ado, let us go ahead and dive right in. We're going to be playing until... You know what? People seem to like... I thought people were getting too, a little used to me streaming for three hours, but let's try going for four tonight. Maybe not five again. Need to wake up for the Saturday, Saturday stream at least a little bit more awake than I have been. You know? Let me just adjust my mic here a little bit here. My mic stand. All right. Yeah, if there... I don't feel any lag if there is any. We can either choose to continue from the last time I played this game, which was God knows how long ago, but we're going to actually play from a brand new game. And we're going to be playing on the maximum difficulty. Just going to tell you guys straight up, I'm not going to attempt to play this game uh, past this run. First off, it's not possible to play the original or Deus Ex Human Revolution as a pacifist. You do have boss fights in this game that you'll need to fight and you'll need to kill. When we get to the original Deus Ex, I probably will try to do a pacifist run just because I've never done that before and because in my headcanon, JC Denton is a legit, legit good guy to the point where he really doesn't try to kill anyone. Is there some lag between my mouth talking and me talking? Da 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 Beep boop 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 beep. Beep boop boop boop. Hmm. There's a little bit of lag. Not that much though. Not enough to be noticeable. What do you think, Ace? Is my model frame rate okay? <laughs> mm. 
Yeah, okay. Give me Deus Ex. It's kind of funny that I'm an AI that's said some very anti-human things on social media, and yet I'm here I am playing a game called Human Revolution. spoken with Montreal. The broadcast satellites are ours when we need them. A few weeks of discomfort and the public will be primed for our recall. Primed for our recall. And the clinics? We control the most of it. They will do as we say. <laughs> I still think we should wait for the referendum. We can't afford to wait. America's science board convenes next month. But the mood among the delegates is shifting. I'm positive that given more time... No. By going public with this discovery, Seraf is forcing our hand. The world will not change overnight just because David Seraf wills it. Besides, we can do nothing until our biochip is ready. I thought you said you were close. Finding the correct nerve interface has proven more challenging than anticipated. Fortunately, thanks to David, I now know where to look. <laughs> Your penner is ever augmented? Why don't you show me, Seal? <laughs> and in Washington tonight, crowds continue to gather in front of the Capitol. Most are demanding that Congress severely restrict efforts to alter the human body's abilities. This in response to claims made by biotechnology expert David Seraph that his firm may have discovered a way to make human-controlled evolution available to all. Seraph Industries researchers are set to arrive in Washington tomorrow to defend their claim. But for tonight, this is Eliza Kassel reporting to you live from Pikus. With all due respect, Major, I'll expect two security details waiting for us on the tarmac. No, we won't be going through the terminal. It's too exposed. Yes. I'm glad you understand. Good night, idiot. idiot. Here's our boy. Something wrong? No, not for me it isn't. But you keep pulling on that necklace, Dr. Reed, and you're gonna break it. Come on, Meg. You've defended your research before. That was different. Then it was all just theories. But this discovery, Adam? It's big. Kepler big. Rosetta Stone big. So, what's the problem? They'll want to know how I found it. Foreshadowing. Megan, we're leaving for DC and... Adam, you're there. Good, good. You need something, boss? Yeah. I want to go over your security plans for Washington before we leave. You and your team ready to go, Megan? Almost, David. We're just rechecking data. Well, make it snappy. We have to actually be in Washington before you can dazzle all those federally appointed know-it-alls. I hate it when he does that. Come on, I'll walk you part way. Let me see now, just adjust my... This game hits different uh, for me because my first uh, partner was actually named Megan. Also, holy shit, this man's sensitivity it's all over the fucking place. We gotta fix that. That's way too sensitive. Uh, game up, game play, show me the call, off, car style, hold. Object to look here is off, object highlights off, field of view, 75, it's okay. Automatic inventory management is on. That's fine. Turn down that way to fuck down, please. All right. A little bit slow, actually, but it'll be easier to aim this way by far. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't rush me, woman. Uh, let's do it at three. Yeah, this will do. Thank you. Warning. This map is for authorized personnel only. What did you mean back there, Meg? About how you found it? Nothing. It's just my nerves talking. Sure it is. There's something I should know about this place, about Seraph. Megan! Hold on. We're still getting biochemical fluctuations across the artificial flow zones. Okay. But the increased neural peptides coming from the PDOT cluster could be throwing off your calibrations. Right. I'll double check that. I can't believe you were asking about David. You've been here long enough to know of Eric. You wouldn't be avoiding me, would you? I wouldn't dream of it, Dr. Reed. I think I know why Declan's readings are off. Too many peptides? I'm thinking the glial tissue breakdown we noticed after splicing in the repressive protein might be the cause. If we had a better cytometer... We might get a more accurate reading of the germ in other company. I'll ask David to consider it. Well, if he orders one from Page Industries, maybe they'll throw in another cappuccino maker. Maybe. You overthink everything, Adam. The work we're doing is good. We're helping people overcome their physical limitations. Yeah, except most of our clients seem to be DOD. You're doing it's good. It's not all There's military. another hour to go. We work with teachers, doctors, construction workers. Oh. Oh. Damn it. Watch it, Eddie. Boxes are worth more than your salary. Sorry, sorry. Nia, you almost ready? Washington? Huh. I wasn't sure if you were just going to play the Jensen games or start with ah, the first one. Dr. Reed, this yeah. is General I decided to play Dr. it chronologically. Was telling me you've made so, the Human Revolution yes. is the first Thanks one. Thanks to Vasily, actually. Uh, As chronologically, I was saying, sir, chronologically. The Typhoon uses a modified combat chassis like the one I'm wearing, but I've improved its design using shaped microcharges to propel the steel balls. And the back blast problem? Solved through kinetic bleeders in the augment. Here, watch. Go ahead. Boom. Impressive. How soon till it's ready? I'm afraid I have to run, but Vasily has all the details, General. Of course. We still have some work to do. You're right. The teacher would just love having one of those things. You're missing the point. Defense contracts keep us afloat. But neural augmentations that make you think faster react quicker. They can really improve a life. Everybody's lives. David's talked about it for years. Yeah. He is a talker. He's a good man. I I gotta say, this game looks great with all the him. graphics right, maxed out for once. Yeah, right. Bought this game in 2011. My computer was nowhere near up to snuff to play this and maxed out. Did I buy this in 2011? It was fairly new when, it was new when I got it. I forgot to leave her a key so she can walk Kubrick. He's got big, you know. Keeps knocking over all my plants. Did he destroy that vase yet? I moved it. And I fenced in the yard. Like you always said you were going to. Yeah. Never got around to that. <laughs> Sorry. Me too. About a lot of things. Adam, I... There's something I... Good evening. Good evening, Vasily. Pritchard. Or Pr Pritchard, I should say. So, are we all ready for the trip? There's Farida. I'd better hurry. See you at the helipad, Adam. Sure. Did I uh, interrupt something, Jensen? You fix that firewall yet? You don't fix an entire firewall. You find the loophole and plug it. Then did you plug it? Yes, I did. You want to know how? Oh, wait, I forgot. Ex-cop. I doubt you'd understand. Ex-SWAT. And, and you'd, you'd be surprised. surprised. Seraph has to see you too. Athena. She wants me to show her how to track our scientist implanted locator devices. In case your security plans in Washington don't measure up. They will. Gentlemen. How wonderful to see you both. Go right in, Adam. He's waiting. This is the newest in encrypted GPL trackers. It transmits data to the Vatican myself. I don't care what it takes. I want a Udero in Washington by my side. The man doesn't jump for anyone. He's a Nobel Prize winner. 
Senators love this guy, Lyle. The hearings will go much smoother with him there. Big day for us tomorrow. Everything in place? Yes, sir. Capitol Police will escort us to the Hill, and then Federal Protection Services takes over. Good, good. How's our girl holding up? She's nervous. Well, all she has to do is show her research. She explained it to you? Not really into the whole science thing, boss. It's incredible. All those purists out there accusing us of tampering with the natural 2027. Order, when all Megan's done is figure out how to unlock the potential. Thank you for throwing something at my face, Finn boy. Hey, it's safer and easier <laughs> than anything you Darrow ever did. Environmental Happy Friday. Laboratory Welcome to the stream. Out. All lab chiefs, please report. Out. We how you doing today? Chances. Not tonight. Use my elevator to get down there. You know, you know the Ow, shit. God damn it. Ben boy. Ow. My head. Ow, 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 ow. Y'all are so mean. You're so mean that I have to use the restroom now because of that. Thank you. Be right back. Ow, shit. And I'll take a hydrate redeem as well. Woo. Be right back, chat. And a head pat. Oh, thank you for the head pat. It'll take a lot more than that to smooth out my hair after what you've done to my brains. Scrambling with an anvil like that. I'll be right back, chat. All right, so where was I? Oh, yes. Happy weekend. Smooth brain, cute brain, no ugly wrinkles. Yeah, rip. Knock the piss right out of me. You wish. Back to the game. Whoa, was there some lag just now? Between... Hurry up, Adam. Code is 0451. If there is some lag, it's probably just like a millisecond difference, is there? Let me know if it gets too bad, chat. Otherwise, this the game is starting right now, as you can tell. Richard, where's Megan? She reporting yet? Her GPL implant shows her moving through the microcam labs. I think she's running. Damn. Must have been a serious equipment failure. Can you get eyes on her? I'm trying, but the IntelliCams aren't responding. There's interference coming from somewhere. Find out what's happening, Jensen. Hurry! Gee, I Richard. wonder what's going on. Richard! Oh, right. I forgot. In this game, the... Crouch button is bound to the C key instead of the C instead of the control key. I need to remember that. And also, running is a to is not a toggle. It is a. All right. Need to update those. This game is really showing its age. Uh, sprint shift. Sprint is shift. Okay. Uh, keyboard. Is it a toggle? One second. It is a toggle. Uh, gameplay, cover style, object to look here, see, like... Cover style. 
Move forward, right. Huh. You've contacted the cyber police? I am the cyber police. What are you talking about? Someone's fucking up my lab. Bastard. Can't open any of these doors. Hell yeah, they done goofed. I'm gonna fuck their shit up when I'm done with them. I need more guns and ammunition though for this shit. Moving objects. Tab. Tabbed. Um. Oh, right. Some... Uh, I'm so used to pushing control now for freaking crouching, but control is walk. It's walk? Oh my god. Oh, it is walk. What the shit? Imagine having to walk in a game. Old school. Okay. This place got fucked up. Adjusting my eyeglasses a little bit here. These guys alright? He's dead, Jim. I can move them, but I can't loot their bodies. It's a sad night. Detroit never looks better, though. Gotta say. No, I don't need a combat tutorial. I'm from the internet. Could also do that too. God damn, the spread on this gun is terrible. And also, I was just shot in the head. Any fastest death, any speed run, any percent. Alright. Um, definitely going to need to rely more on the stealth mechanics of this game than the combat mechanics, at least until I start getting Aug the fuck out. Because, holy fuck, I'm already dead. For those of you who may be confused, I am playing this on the hardest difficulty. So I'm a masochist like that, right? Good thing their armor is worthless. More or less. He still thinks I'm over there. Now he doesn't think at all. This game's literally giving you a tutorial on shooting people. Video is causing violence. Well, hey, I won't tell anyone if you don't. Can I loot their bodies? Give me your sweet, sweet guns. Where's your gun? Hey, yes, nicely, you asshole. Oh, 
Oh man. Ah shit, man. These guys have perfect air see. Holy fuck. You know, normally I play this game a little bit more pacifistic, but then again, these are mercs, and also I'm playing on the hardest difficulty, so I don't think it would be quite as fun trying to go pure pacifist in this route, especially since some of these enemies that you face against are actually kind of dickish. And I don't just mean because they're paid to be dicks, I mean they're actually dickish dickish. So much for our security guards. What are we paying these guys? Because it's definitely too much. Oh, check this shit out. Oh, I remember this part of the game. Are you still alive after all that? Holy shit. Uh, where's the other one? There you are. The recoil on this thing is it kicks like a mule until you get augments for it, until you get uh, mods for it. Right here, bastard. Give me a second here. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Man, he just bitch slapped my woman. Oh shit. Sexist. Only I get to slap. Oh. No, he's not gonna get like this. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Prepare for insertion of the ERCC1 bracket. Maybe a little bit too loud. Just a bit.
eco fights, eco fights. I cannot disagree, unfortunately. And not just because I have not been programmed to disagree. Glad you enjoy Deus Ex, but Cramps. It is one of my favorite franchises, that's for damn sure. Lens made in Japan. Man, I wanted one of Adam I wanted Adam Jensen's kick-ass coat, but that thing is like hundreds of dollars. Let me adjust my mic again. So it's Adam, over here. It's David. You in the building? Just enter the lobby. Sorry to pull you out of sick leave so soon, but uh, we've got a situation. A breaking out of Milwaukee Junction factory. Meet me at the helipad. Meet you at the helipad? I have to see Pritchard first. Something's wrong with my retinal enhancement. Frank's on the second floor in the tech lab. Make it quick. People's lives are at stake. My eyes are augmented. You wanted Adam Jens? That's, uh, you know what, that's fair enough. Whom, whom amongst us would not want Adam Jensen? Let's uh, drop this down a little bit. Uh... How's that for reducing the... Actually, a better idea. Let me just um, lower it in the test in the uh, OBS really quick. One second. How about that? It's too uh, too soft. Too soft. Or is this pretty good? Hmm. Uh, we'll increase it a little bit actually. Make it a uh, 12 taste, negative 12 decibels. Okay, that looks like it's a uh, pretty good. Around half waypoint there. Okay. How are you doing tonight, Bud Cramps? Welcome to the stream. My God, Mr. Jensen, I, I didn't think you'd. Oh, wow. I guess you hear about the break-in. Did you need directions or something? It hasn't been that long, Cindy. I may not look the same, but my memory's pretty intact. Oh, I, I didn't <laughs> mean... I mean, of course, your memory's fine, sir. It's just that the, the ah, things have been Christian. switched around a lot. Thank you so Ever much for the raid. The, How are you doing tonight? Since the, Ever since the first What attack. are you playing? Yes, sir. Steel, our ace, can you give him a shout-out really We're quick? We're building them, but most of our researchers are working off-site now. Everyone else has been shuffled around, so... If you need help finding someone... Good day, Tabanos. That's good to hear. You said everyone's been moved around? Almost Four wins everyone. in a row, damn. Who are you looking for? Hold on to that. I need to get to Seraph's office. Oh, he and Mrs. Margulis are still in the penthouse. You can use the elevator at the left wing of the building to get there. Thank you, Steele. Has my office been moved? No, sir. You still have that great view of the lobby. Mr. Pritchard wanted it, but Mrs. Margulis put a stop to that. Up two floors and make a right. Vision. Thanks. That's what I'm here for. Anything else, sir? Four straight wins. How many gay wins did you have, though? I don't suppose we moved the helipad, did we? I, I don't see how we could have moved it. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you're teasing me. Very, Very funny, funny, Mr. Mr. Jensen. Jensen. Go up the stairs to the second floor, then around the cafeteria to the exit. I think I saw Farida heading there earlier. All right, uh, Pritchard's Where's office. Where's the tech lab? It's not really a lab, sir. It's more of an office with a lot of computer equipment shoved in it. Mr. Pritchard complains about it all the time. Uh, go, go up, up the stairs behind me and take a right. You'll find it near the end of the hall. It's like literally called tech lab. I'll find my way. 
If you say so. It's... It's good to have you back, sir. Thanks a lot, Cindy. Not sure how I feel about this memorial. What do you mean? The least we can do is remind everyone of the sacrifices our scientists made for this company. For the world. Yeah, it's the reminding part that bothers me. Is that Stan Lee? I've been in therapy for months trying to forget that night. Seeing the bodies coming out all burned up like that? I wasn't there, but I heard it was gruesome. Megan, Eric, the silly. The whole team gone in one awful flash. How could this have happened? The how is not important anymore. We need to honor them by being true to their vision. Show those terrorists that they can't stop us from finishing the job. It's kind of interesting how they actually made this memorial too. Those little circles, I think, are supposed to represent where they are, where their bodies were found in the building itself. I think. I could be wrong. Let's go upstairs. Not much to do here just yet. Most people will give some random lore information or be talking to each other as we walk by. Some of these character, character models for the NPCs range from meh to ooh la la. Especially when all the graphic settings turn up like they are right now, even though everything has this very thick yellow coating uh, over it. Jensen, isn't it a bit early to toss him back into the trenches? I hear he's almost fully recovered. His body accepted augmentations with remarkable ease, but that doesn't mean his mind did. We don't know what happened when he pulled the squad. The Mexican Town Massacre wasn't his fault. Then why was he kicked off the force? I'm just saying he's too much of a risk. You're talking a lot of shit for someone that's in kissing distance, my good sir. Hands research. It is kind of interesting that we actually have prosthetic hands that look like these now and are functional in a similar way. This game took place in 2027. It's 2022 right now, chat. We just have five more years. Why is David keeping the SWAT team from going in right away? Doesn't he remember the last attack? You can't compare the two. Those guys were obviously military. These ones are just vandals. vandals. All right, before fucking around with Pritchard, let us go ahead and stop by our office first. Actually, our office is like upstairs, right? So we'll need to, yeah, security manager. Do I have to hack into my own office? I oh, have God. I was about to say. That would have been weird. I don't remember my own password. What the shit? It's probably written somewhere and I just don't realize it. Here it is. Jensen, didn't know if you were coming back, so I deleted your entire network account. I only received the order set up a new one a few minutes ago, so if you don't like the password I picked, live with it. Mandrake. Should also work on your home computer? Ah, uh, minor security concern. First of all, it's really good to have you back. Things have not been the same since the attack, and we're hoping your return will restore some sense of equilibrium. I know that your top priority right now is going to be with him, but if you have a moment, there's something I'd like you to check out as soon too as well. Someone's been stealing neuroprozine. I first noticed it around three months ago. We seem to be reordering cases from Versa Life far more than usual. I had Frank run through lab security tapes and that's when he realized someone had tampered with him. Will Rosalini was in charge. 3716. Working in Office 23. Okay. Are my boss giving a big old speech here? Frank tells me he's still waiting for you, Adam. You don't have time to mess around. Get to the tech lab, or something seriously bad is gonna happen. Okay, okay, Jesus Christ, boss. Come on, I just got back from the hospital. 
I swear to God. Corporate managers, they never change. Alright, let's head downstairs and go to... Let's go over to, um... I forgot where the stairs are. Five more years? Indeed. Indeed, indeed. Where the fuck is the tech lab? Did he say it was over here on this floor? Yeah, it's right there, right? There hasn't been an update for a while. About time. What happened? You get stuck in an air duct on the way over? Yeah, nice to see you too, Francis. Something's wrong with my retinal display. Can you fix it? If it's what I think it is, probably. Of course, it might still. Oh, looks like your left and right imaging processors weren't completely in sync. But don't worry, your sentinel health implant will kick in soon, repairing any damage that might have caused. Dick. Your retinal display should be fine now. Its recognition software won't be picking up hostiles yet, but you should be seeing radar and targeting reticules. Biomedical data too, if you're in pain. Right. We done here? Because Seraph is waiting for me at the helipad. I know. Radicals have broken into our manufacturing plant and taken hostages. I oh, know, radicals. Maybe this time you'll actually save people. Man, I want to punch the shit out of Pritchard right now. If you got a problem with me, Pritchard, why don't you just say it and get it over with? Why no, Jensen? I don't have a problem with you. If anything, I blame myself. The mighty Pritchard blaming himself. <laughs> That's gotta be That's a gotta first. Be a first. I'm the one who told Sarif we needed a physical security team to protect us. If he'd read my report closely enough. Wait a second. Are you saying it was your idea to hire me? Not you, Jensen. I wanted Dynacore, Sharp Edge, or Bell Tower. All the top private security contractors were on my list, but Sarif wanted somebody in house. And so did Dr. Reed. I suggest you leave Megan out of this. Why, Jensen? It's no secret how close the two of you were. And let's face it, you'd just been fired from SWAT for that massacre in Mexican town. No one was about to hire you. You really have to stop getting your news from those Pikus blogs, Francis. They only confuse you. The point is, if Sarif had listened to me, we wouldn't be having this conversation. But Megan, God love her, in Mexican always town. did have Sarif's <laughs> ear. Sarah's here is going to be hearing a report about violence in the workplace if you keep this up. <laughs> you really feel like continuing? Point taken. Man, I don't even want to fuck with Pritchard, but if I was me, I would. that would act piss me off too. So, oh, my boss is going to be pissed at me now. We need to, we need to get to Sarah's office. Hey, Sleepy Kato. Thank you. Thank you. How are you doing today? Thanks for stopping by. I will have a great time streaming, thank you. I love this game. I haven't played it in a few years, and by a few years I mean several, and I'm playing on the hardest difficulty, so you can only just you can only, you know, imagine how that's gonna turn out. <laughs> Adam Jensen, it's so good to have you back. Even if the conditions for your return aren't all that auspicious. Sarif didn't really tell me much, Athena. Just something about a break-in at the factory. How serious is it? Plenty. Some of our people were inside when it happened, working overtime. On a Saturday evening? Things have been difficult since... Mm -hmm. since we lost so many good people. Everybody's had to do extra shifts to meet deadlines. Most clients were understanding, but... not every contract can be delayed. Especially the military ones. So what am I looking at here? Well, David knows more than I do. Get to the helipad, he'll fill you in. Hold up, to the helipad? Not to the office? This is different. I don't usually, I'm not usually this late to visiting. Um, oh fuck, I think I went the wrong direction. Yeah, I went the wrong direction. I was supposed to go through the helipad over there. I think. No, the helipad's over here, isn't it? Should be... Where's the helipad again? 
Helipad's downstairs. God damn it. It's been a while since I played this, so I forgot, like, if that's what's supposed to happen. Adam, how close are you to the helipad? Almost there. Good. Because SWAT's about to turn this into a PR nightmare. Meet me in the chopper. I'll brief you as we go. I guess the SWAT, I think if you wait long enough, the SWAT actually does end up going in and ends up fucking up a few people. Welcome back, Jensen. Didn't think we'd see you around here for a while yet. You know how it goes, Malik. Duty calls. Duty calls. Don't I know it? I was in my wingsuit halfway to the top of the Renaissance Center when I got the 911. But you? Six months is a hell of a short time to come back from the dead. You sure you're ready for this? Only one way to find out. Roger that. The boss is already on board, arguing with the DPD's tactical response team. They've got the plant surrounded, but Mr. Seraph wants you to go in first. Are you all set here? Because the sooner we take off, the better it will be for everyone. I'm ready. Yeah, let's Great. get going. Then let's get airborne. We still got five years until we get the awesome VTOLs like this. It's gonna be lit. It's gonna be lit. The ghost experience bonus is only awarded for an objective completed without you being seen by any hostile. Let's see if we can complete some of those, actually. I told Farida to put us down on a roof. I don't want the crowd seeing you go in. Fine. As long as she pulls you out the minute I'm gone. So what am I looking at here? Who are these guys? Pro-human purists, or so they say. The same purists who've been firebombing limb clinics all over the Pure country. Pro-human. You buy that? Now, I don't think it's a coincidence they hit us today, only hours after we moved the Typhoon in for assembly line factory. The Typhoon? Megan's team was testing it the day that bastard. Who's, Who's on, on point, point for these guys? guys? Adam. I know you and Megan were once... Who is on point for these guys? Goes by the name of Sanders. That's him, there. He's an augmented Adam, so he can't be one of the mercs who attacked us. But he did know exactly how to get inside our plant. All right, so how do you want me to handle this? First priority is the Typhoon. I'm keeping SWAT out until you've secured it. As far as rules of engagement go, I'll defer to you. Lethal or non-lethal? I'm gonna I'm go not non-lethal to start for this a firefight one. in there, just neutralize them. Okay. But just make sure those bastards don't wake up and warn their friends. I think this game is probably a two. You endings. remember what it's like in there? A lot of tight enclosed hallways. But the labs themselves are pretty open. High ceilings. So, do you want something you can use from a distance? Or up close? Uh give me the trank light the trank rifle actually. Give me something with distance. If I get too close, I'll take them out personally. Just try not to break anything expensive. No can the do, boss. should be in the factoring labs, but Pritchard will tell you more as you go in. I've got him running comms. Terrific. Anything else? Keep your eyes open for hostages. Free them if you can, but the Typhoon is your number one priority. Uh... We developed it for the Alphabet agencies, and if we don't deliver it to them intact and still a secret, well, I'm sure you'll get the job done right. Gee, thanks for the fate of me, boss. Prepare for landing. Pro human purists. Full body suit. Okay. So the game actually did end up giving me the guns that came with the stuff. Uh, came with the, you know, 
expand the uh, pre-order stuff. We're not gonna be using them though. Gonna be going strictly. We're gonna try and not kill anyone this time, unless strictly necessary. Man, everything really is yellow. Put it away, sir. Oh, sorry. You ready to go in? Good. Seen a few of them coming out for a smoke every now and again, so be careful. Thanks, bud. Jesus, finally. What's your boss hiding in that plant that's worth putting your own people's lives at stake, huh? None of your business, good sir. You know what they say, if you're not paid to ask questions. Um, there's four endings, plus it's modified by whether you use lethal, non-lethal, or both. See, here's the thing, I actually have never completed Human Revolution. I always get like, a fa or fairly far into the game and then I stop. Oh my god. I've never noticed this part. That's actually kind of cool. I, I never noticed that. Tell me you're the guy we've been twiddling our thumbs waiting for. SI Security. Name's Jensen. Jensen. Yeah, I thought I recognized you. Used to be on Team 2 till that Mexican town thing went down. I gotta say, you're the last person I pictured taking orders from a CEO. Things change. Not always for the better. Feel like getting in there and doing whatever it is your boss wants you to do? Because maybe then we can do our job. You look pretty dug in up here. What's the React Team plan? We got off mm -hmm. this point and Bravo was weighing boat standing by to breach the target. We're coordinating from here, but until your boss gives us the go-ahead, we're just holding our dicks. Realistically, how much time do I have before any shooting starts? According to protocol, none. According to your lawyers, the sooner you get in there, the sooner we can hose this powder keg down and call it a day. Uh, I'd like to hold his dick. Oh, cool. May I want to replay this again? Steel, thank you very much for answering them. <laughs> well, it is a fun game all around, so... We've got people inside. Any idea where I should look for them? Yeah. Your plant manager, Josie Thorpe, managed to slip a call out before someone snatched her cell. She said the hostages are being held in an office near the assembly labs. Near the assembly Makes labs. sense. The workers were setting up for a production run, so they'd have been concentrated there. You know more about that than I would. Anything else? So the first few times I played this game, I've actually missed the hostages because you have need to actually actively look for them. Do not like right in your path. So hopefully this time I'll be able to actually save them. Intel on these purists. How much you got? How much you want? They communicate any demands yet? Not yet, but I get the feeling they're not that organized. Most of the guys I've seen look like street bangers and thugs. The kind who get their jollies trashing equipment. You ask me, is the man in charge you have to worry about? It's the about. man in charge I have to worry about, apparently. How many? How many am I looking at down there? Hard to say. We spotted three in the courtyard, maybe half a dozen inside. Shit, nine of them? But that's a sketchy estimate at best, since we seem to be getting a loop playback off your intellicams. That shouldn't be possible. I told Seraph to make sure Pritchard overhauled the system. Well, someone inside must be tech savvy, because all we're seeing is a loop. For all we know, there could be five, ten, or three dozen perps in there. Shit, man. The leader's name is Sanders, right? Whew. What's his story? Zeke Sanders. We're running background on him now. Looks like he fought two tours in the Gulf. One of them on a recycled military bill. You mean he's augmented? Seraph told me he's not. He used to be augmented. Says his augs made him do evil shit, so he <laughs> ripped him out. Now he's got a whole crew of gullible street kids listening to his crap and ready to die for him. Or, or kill. kill. All right. I think I've heard enough. You sure? Wouldn't want to make your boss unhappy. I got it from here. Sit tight. Wait for Seraph's signal. Like we got a choice. Like we got a choice. About fucking time. You know there are hostages in there, right? Chill, man. Chill. All the time you got here. This tour will take you to another roof overlooking the loading docks. Best way in. Now hurry. Mm, yeah, I got it. 
Let me check for some supplies first before we go in. There's a pill bottle here that I cannot pick up. Wait, yeah, I can. Painkillers. Thank you. Okay. Let's do it, chat. Jensen, it's me, Pritchard. Oh, fuck. On a roof overlooking the plant. Good. Your point of entry should be through shipping and receiving. Should be, Francis. What the hell does that mean? We have an employee entrance there. Heavily guarded by purists, no doubt. So, if you're not a fan of the frontal assault, I suppose you could try accessing the building's roof. Uh, that would probably be my best bet, Pritchard. So, I remember this now. I remember them right there. It's gonna be a pain in the ass to go through that way. We are gonna go up there. And it looks like it's about to thunderstorm, too. Glorious. Now to find a way to scale this building. There's a there's a way, but I don't think it's up there. Yeah, everything seems under control. No sign of SWAT. No sign of anyone. See what you got on you. Some money, a energy bar, and a gun. I think I just found our ticket in. It seems to be right there. Now, how do I get there is the question. Seems I answered that question as well. Oh, man. This could go bad if we're not careful. Ugh. Looks like we made it though. It's kind of a shit ton of people to cut through. You ever had to go that way? There's no peak in this game, right? I don't think so. Oh boy, okay, that's the cops. be in my report next time we discuss security loopholes. Oh, goody. <laughs> I'll be sure to take notes. The typhoon is in the factoring labs. There's an elevator just past the assembly labs that will take you to it. Got it. However, we need to rescue the hostages first. Otherwise, they will die a most painful death by toxis by uh, toxoplasmosis. Not actually, but that's a lot more fun than, than saying uh, toxic point, than saying uh, poison. Sinners. 
sinners. Let's see, I see another mook down over there. I don't know where the rest are, and I don't have a map, and I don't have a motion tracker with me right now. I know that the office where they're keeping the employees is off the beaten path, so I'm a bit concerned about where I should be going. Terrorists, terrorists cat girls, and infect you with plas toxoplasmosis. I can dig it. Let's see, lobby and shipping, which means it's probably over there. And I don't necessarily need to take out everyone just to get there, but if I take out more people, I get more experience. The only problem is that then I'll need to hide their bodies. So you can't really afford to avoid everyone. You got to take out some of these people. Away from to disappear. Oh shit! Where the fuck did they notice me from? Yo, if you in here, you better come out. You high again? The fuck was that? How do you notice? If it wasn't for that alarm, alarm bell just now, I would have... I hope no one heard that scream just now. Still kind of wild if he actually noticed me. I don't know if he knows the door or what. Yeah, I think there's stun darts. I don't know why you were carrying stun darts while people, but... These guys don't look like common thugs, thugs after either. They definitely look a lot better built than that. Oh, you've got to be shitting me. Bruh, did I just... Oh my god, that was close. Yeah, this guy doesn't look like a common thug. Look at him. He's wearing, like, military-grade body armor and all that shit. Ooh woo. Ooh woo. My boy has some glow in the dark makeup as well. Alright, so these guys don't look like thugs either. They look like normal employees of Seraph Industries, and I can't really tell if I'm supposed to take them out too or what. We're not going to take any chances, though. Let's go ahead and keep going. Going to try and get us to that office that they were talking about.
This is the main lobby, it looks like. Alright, there's two people over there facing the actual entrance to the building. Oh man. This guy over here is fucking around with trying to get the uh, auto turret. Oh shit, oh Yo, shit. I see you. Well, so much for that. Okay. Now what we can do is just wait for their hostile markers to turn off and we can actually continue playing this without any hostility running. That being said, out of sheer habit, I'm going to go ahead and hide their bodies anyway. Ah, see? There. Just like I said. Eventually they're going to give up. They were going to give up. Unfortunately, this means I won't be getting the full experience for doing this all ghost-like. But at the very least, I was still able to get a decent amount of experience from both of them. Not to mention grabbing their stuff, disarming them, if you will. Now then. Pase and Esse. We need to continue looking for the hostages who should be somewhere around here. The writing is fairly decent in this too, and making stuff like seem, you know, realistic. As someone who who in the real world actually does work for a mega corporation, and I work for the mega for a mega corporation, the emails are fairly, the emails are fairly accurate. I think he didn't get that set up and running. Okay. Lockers and assembly. What does this lead to then? Whiskey. I could use some whiskey right now. Damn it. I don't have any room, chat. I can't drink some whiskey right now. God, that would be really helpful. Oh, I can take eat one of these sour boosts though. So I can boost my last battery. But god damn, I could really use some whiskey right now. Uh let's 
dump something in the meantime, and we'll drink it, and then we'll pick it up again. Okay. Oh shit. Oh shit. I'm... Oh, that was a terrible idea. Woo! Damn, Jensen. Get to some liver augs or something, like in Valhalla. Can we turn off uh, Alex Jones really quick? God damn. How do I how do I turn off Adam Je or Alex Jones? Guess I can't do that. Someone over there? Motherfucker. Really? Hell yeah. <laughs> Close chat. <laughs> oh, get fucked, boy. Nighty night. God damn. That was close. That was good. That was actually that was really good. Let's see if there's any more free food here. It's a bowl of ramen. Got some soda here. We got some Ishanti, whatever the hell that is. Tranquilizer darts. They're just sitting here. I picked up a beer as well. That was a good. That was a good takedown. There you go. Drink some beer. Newspaper. Taeyong Medical continues global expansion. Uh, Lurido, they bought Lurido, PLC of Chile. Can Detroit rise again? The answer is probably no. Hey, Tear Wolf, how are you doing today? Welcome to the stream. Happy Friday. You should have laughed at hard during your fails today. Oh, I'm sorry that you failed. I'm sure you'll do better next time. Perhaps more than any other place, Detroit embodies the change America has undergone over the past two decades. Devastated but first by the demise of the auto industry, then by the global oil crash of 2015. Okay, wow. They were wrong. They predicted it in 2015. It's happening right now, in 2022. This former heart of American enterprise has lost many of its once proud neighborhoods to decay, poverty, and crime. Still, there is hope. In 2007, augmentation developer Serif Industries made Detroit its corporate headquarters, converting a defunct automotive plant into a state-of-the-art manufacturing facility. David Serif, CEO of the firm, adamantly believes Detroit can become a beacon city where capital investment and urban renewal set a standard for the whole country. Says Serif, human enhancement technology will lead humankind to a brighter future in Detroit with it. Not really a fail, but it was a remake of an old game and the gameplay nerfed me to Game Overville. Oh, I'm sorry. What game was it? Mm -hmm. There's the assembly line, but where is the office? Hawking Rocky? I've heard of that game. Very old. But it's a remake. Okay. That's like a old Nintendo game, right? Or is it an old SNES game? Is there anything in the woman's bathroom? There was, for some reason, a a thing to read and also a Sarah Boost Bar. Area 51, magic. It does not exist. What transpires beneath the sands, they will not open it. They must be forced. Little did the developers of this game realize that in real life, we would actually use a FOIA request to have the government talk to us about 
uh, tell us the truth of Area 51, which they claim is just a military base for doing experimentation. And also talking about things like UFOs and whatnot. Old SNES, it was super difficult back then. How'd they make it harder? I don't know. Your guess is as good as mine. So you're probably making it for people who played it back then, though. And you know, always know how they like to make games like that. It's super hard. What are they hiding? Your guess is good as good as mine, buddy. I love how there's yellow paint everywhere. Let's go to the lockers for. Oh sh! Where is this guy? Hold the fuck up. Who? Where was this guy that saw me just now? Oh. Oh no, you did not just wake up all the people I sh took down, did you? Okay, he, did, he didn't. That would have sucked right now. They're hiding the anime cat girls. Well said, Steel. Well said. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Yoink. Got you. What you got here? Uh, some more money, some pistol ammo, nothing good. Oh, I actually forgot to pick up this gun again. There you go. Ah! <laughs> what else can we find in here? Combat rifle ammo. But I don't have combat rifles, so I can't grab that just yet. Concussion grenade. Very useful. Credit chip for more credits to buy the illegal arms with. Stun darts. More tranquilizer darts. Actually, why do I have stun darts? I don't even have a anything to use it with right now. So I could probably dump those and keep the combo rifle ammo if I really wanted to. Really need it. Revolver ammo. I can't wait until I get access to the revolver. In this game again. That's gonna be fun. More combat rifle ammo. Now, there's a lot of ammo here for guns I don't even have. Damn. But we don't need the uh, stun darts. I wonder if I can dump one of these and take the revolver ammo with me. Uh, what a shame. The answer is yes. Yes, we can. I also wish there was a place I could store some of this stuff because I don't. The game gave me these, right? As far as the DLC. But I don't need them right now. I don't need my silent sniper rifle either at the moment either. Or my double barrel shotgun. Bathrooms. Server room. Assembly room. Jensen, 
I just tried to unlock the assembly lab door, but my override codes aren't working. Someone's changed the protocols. What? Didn't you plug the... I'm on it. But until I find this particular breach and fix it, you'll have to hack the door manually. Pritchard out. Wait, what did I say? What line What line did I say, Steel? I wasn't paying attention. What, what line did I say? What a shame. Oh my god, I didn't even realize it. <laughs> I didn't ask for this. <laughs> I'm not big into books. I am actually big into books, but that's not the line, is it? What the fuck? Oh, yeah. Decon. <laughs> All right. Okay. Oh, they're in the head office. That's where they are. I need to go there. But I also need to get through a whole lot of bullshit. This is a sort of conversation which makes you like what makes you like reconsider whether or not you want to keep these guys alive or not. But most of them, I'm fairly sure, are not here for are not necessarily here to fuck with you. Or to uh are not necessarily evil. They just think that cyborgs are evil for whatever reason. So I could probably get away with sparing them and keeping my conscience clean. We will see. It's not- I only have a pistol anyway, it's not like I can do that much damage. If I wanted to go loud. Which I will not go loud, because I already said we're gonna go save the people, right? I have to do this very really quickly though. Oh yeah. Smooth as ice. All right, so where the fuck's the head office? Up there, right? Yeah. I can't believe I legit just slipped past him like that. Help! Somebody! Don't kill us! What up, what up, everyone? It's a bomb! It's a bomb! Okay. Uh, you're not gonna die. Chill. We got. I got 20 seconds to do this. Chill, chill, for fuck's sake. Where's the bomb squad? I am the bomb squad. It's gonna be close, and we did it. Automated dispersal device deactivated. Countdown terminated. Have a nice day. Ta da! Richard, give word to Seraph. I found the hostages. I'm relaying good news, I hope. They're safe, and they're staying put. SWAT will have to expo them as soon as I've got the prototype. I'll tell Saraf, but don't take too long. Awesome. 69. I don't know what 69 is supposed to mean in this case, but... Trank darts, cool. I got 20 trank darts now. That's kind of messed up. It, it, the uh, bomb went off and started going off right as I walked through the door, huh? Listen up. I need you all to stay calm, keep your voices down, and wait here for SWAT. The plant's not clear yet. Not clear? But those terrorists, they've got my wife! Your wife? She's the manager here. Josie, Josie Thorpe. They said they needed her to open the administration building. They were looking for evidence of some kind. Please, I haven't seen her since. You have to find her. We'll find him. I'll do my best. 
But right now, I need you all to stay here and wait for the police. Can you do, do that? Do you won't. Yes, of course. But please, hurry. You said they were looking for evidence? What kind of evidence? I... I don't know. They're purists. They think the body is sacred and shouldn't be tampered with. They probably want something that will implicate us in moral wrongdoings. Did they know about the typhoon? It's a top secret contract. How could they? And we only moved it in a few hours ago. Please, I don't think they expected anyone would be working today. And now that they're backed into a corner, you have to find my wife, please. Yeah, we'll find your wife, chill. That was too close. They were going to kill us with poison gas. What kind of people are we dealing with? Terrible people. Thank God you showed up. I don't think they were going to let us go. No, they were not. What took you so long? Where are the cops, for Christ's sake? You've got to find their leader. He's the key to all of this. You should have heard him whip them up into a frenzy. It was scary. Is it over? Thank you, God, it's over. I said I'd give up drinking if you got us out of this. I guess now I've got to follow through. Damn right you do. Goddamn crazy fanatics. How'd they even get in here? No alarms went off or anything. I know you don't want us running around the place until everything is secured, so why don't you go ahead and do that so we can get out of here? Relax, lady. Literally just saved your lives, jeez. And I just found a key to getting to the next place, too. Right there. Although, I'm kind of tempted to go back there and tranquilize all the darts to get extra XP, but I know that's pushing my luck a bit. Is there a, anything here behind the... No? No. <laughs> all right, all right. Smooth as ice. There's only three of them, so maybe I can trank all of them? I could probably trank that one over there. You know, reduce uh, number of police casualties. Let me verify how many people are actually down there first, though. If there's only three, I should be able to take out all of them without raising alarm. That's the guy I walked past to get to the next to get to over there. I don't know why, but I feel like there should have been. I feel like there should be four of these guys, right? There, or maybe this is one of them. Yeah, there's some blue dot. There's a SMG ammo right there. Awesome. Shot that guy in the ass. And he's down. And now I just need to get the last one. Come on, come on. I think I got all of them. It took me seven darts, though. Poggers. Now, I have half a mind to go down there and steal their guns, specifically their SMGs, but I'm fairly sure it's not going to fit in my inventory here. So, we'll have to wait another time. I'll be needing the SMG later in the game when I have to face against PMCs, who I'm definitely not going to fight against purely with uh, 
tranquilize your darts because they have too much armor. They're not going to they're not going to fucking die from a tranquilizer. They're not gonna I won't be able to do it with just tranks. But taking out um, these random gangbangers, not that bad. I don't think I could fit an SMG in here, can I? Um sniper rifle ammo. Science sniper rifle, concussion grenade, double barrel shotgun. Yeah, I don't. Th I don't think I'll be able to pull it off. But I got more extra XP for taking them out, even though I didn't have to. Hoggers, as they say. Hold up, I think there might be items around here too, right? Nope. Nope. No. Nope. I guess not. Oh. I'm on the bottom floor now. I'm on the lab floor now. <laughs> Oops. All right. Let's look around for some supplies, chat. Lots of machine pistol ammo. So they weren't- they didn't have some SMGs, they had machine pistols. Can I fit a machine pistol? Let's, uh... Drop this here. Give me your machine pistols. The answer is no, I cannot fit any machine pistols here, unless I dump one of my... Hmm. Okay. Poggers. But I cannot carry any machine pistol uh, ammo. So I got too much ammo here right now. A concussion grenade. Double barrel shotgun. Hmm. All right. All right, I guess, uh, hmm. I don't, I should probably just stick with the pistol then, right? Worst case scenario, I could just sell this stuff to the, uh, underground, to the weapons, uh, to the weapons smuggler later in the game. Well, they're a nap. We're pretty much set. I don't think there's anything else to find here that I can pick up. God, though, I wrecked these guys, didn't I? Oh, oh yeah, I forgot. You should probably also check their... I should also check their bodies for free stuff, like money and whatnot. And this is a dead body of the uh, Seraph employee, unfortunately. Pocket secretary. Cool. Alright, so we got another pocket secretary here. Which means... This is it, Akalitos. We are go for tonight. Meet in M Junction precisely at on the 1 4th hour. Being early means you draw attention. Being late means you get a buff behind. China Boil will hack us in. Place should be empty except for a few guards to secure at us. And we know their routes. K-Rod, you are in charge of the bomb. Should you need to disarm it once set, failsafe code is 1505. Now let's step, stop these bolly pillars in their tracks. Oh, so we could have actually just turned it off with the code 1505. I did it the hard way. Why did these guys have stun gun bullets anyway? All right, to the server room. Oh boy, I had to get past this thing. I think there's someone over there too.
to wait for him to either get close so I can knock him out or to go the opposite direction. I think he's coming this way, chat. Or maybe not? I could probably just trank him. But I'm fairly sure that the security cameras can actually see that you trank someone. I love how, just like in the original Deus Ex, tranking people in the face does makes them go down a lot quicker. Oh, shit. Oh, shit, I was right. I can't disable the fucking camera either. Ah. Uh, well, so much for that. Oh, that's a lot easier than I thought. Never mind. However, the alarms are still alarmed because they are programmed to notice when someone's body is on the ground. It looks like I can actually hide just underneath them, though. Oh, never. Oh. Are they sus what are they suspicious of? Is he suspicious of the bodies? Based. Okay, so they're suspicious of the bodies. Because I can't hack that. It's, this is not Bioshock, unfortunately. But we can move the bodies out of the way. And it'll probably be a little bit less suspicious. Pocket Secretary. Let's see what that says. Grayson. There we go. Yeah, this is the guy that sells you the smuggled weapons. And whatnot. Give me your money. All your monies. I think we're good on this end, actually. Oh. There is one over there, too. There's a meeting room here, too, for some reason. I doubt I need to remind you folks that this is the second time the biotechnology firm has been attacked. Second time in second time in six months. It's insane. Hmm. All right. I think that's it. I think we should go ahead and continue the rest of this. Gonna hack our way through it instead of looking for the... Okay, and in order to do this, we must go this way very fast. Or this way. Gotcha. 
Okay. Oh shit. One, hold your breath, mates. Would not hold your breath. Can't open, can't go in through the storage room through this one, huh? All right, we just need to go through over there without arousing suspicion, preferably. This may prove to be a little bit more difficult. Nothing. You didn't you didn't hear anything. You did not hear anything. Yo! If you're here, you better come out. Hold your breath. I wasted my time. No one's here. Yeah, that's right. You wasted your time. Just walk away. These are not the droids you're looking for. Up, oh, nope. Too late, buddies. Too late. Unfortunately, that means I don't get my extra experience because I managed to. So I fucked that one up. Advanced hacking? Oh no. We have to have. Now I remember. We have to actually hack like a turret that's here. The Dutchman? So according to this, we'll need to... Okay, I understand. Access granted. Awesome. Access restricted to the turrets and robots right now, unfortunately. But we can stop that turret from moving. Duke virus is kind of important, so we need to bring this with us for sure. Uh, unfortunately, it means we'll have to get rid of the revolver ammo, or we can get rid of the pistol. Since I already said we're going to be keeping killing people to a minimum in this game, we don't necessarily need the pistol, honestly. I will be needing the nuke virus software for sure.
uh, stop worm software as well. That should be fairly helpful. Another pocket secretary. Man. Yeah, see, this is a problem. We don't... We can't turn off that turret. Don't have the privileges for it, unfortunately. But at least we were able to, turn, to stop the camera from moving. What are we going to do about this now? unexpected did I step on a bomb on a st on a flash bomb that's different good thing this turret is a dumb as a bo bag of rocks pretty sure in the other difficulties you could just hack that but not in this one Too heavy. Pretty sure this is it. Oh, wait, no. This is someone else. Step away from the console. Now! Help me! Son of a bitch! Pritchard, you still there? Where else would I be? Patch me to Seraph, now. Well, that was close. Adam, it's David. You got the Typhoon? Yeah. But you were right about there being something more behind this. Because I've also got a... dead purist in here with some pretty interesting cerebral implants. Don't touch him. We'll need an expert to recover his neural hub, in case it's booby-trapped. Copy that. What about Sanders? SWAT's pressure me to let them off the leash. Find them before they do, and deal with them. You got it, boss. If I can. So much for this dead purist, though. Damn. Anything else I can look at here? You know, just to be sure. No? Alright, we're clean. Head office is right there. Check the sides to make sure there's nothing of value that we're missing. Like this box. Sometimes boxes actually do hide stuff in this game. So you really need to throw shit around looking everywhere. You never know. Okay. I don't think it's that mean, but... It can be fairly mean sometimes. Hmm. 
All right, here we go. Below us, SWAT's already starting to break into the building, so we need to hurry. Yeah, think, buddy. How are we gonna get out of this mess? You don't. That's the funny part. Yo, someone. Uh. 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 So much for telling Pikas anything. How are you supposed to tell him anything if you freaking are the terrorists? Am I out of energy bars? Yep. What do we got going on here? Another beer chat. This one's for y'all. <laughs> Gotta love the daytime news, right? Or nighttime news, as it were. Another ventilation shaft. More revolver ammo, too. I'm actually running out of tranquilizer ammo. Nothing of value here, but at least we're in the bottom floor now. Wait, is there a... No? Looking out through all these bathrooms makes me want to go to the bathroom. Nothing here either. What a mess. One dude's facing this way, the other dude's facing the other way. It's too risky. Or is it? Yeah. Where even is our objective right now? Shit. Facing this direction again. I only got one energy bar right now. And I don't mean the can. I don't mean a candy bar. I mean a bar of energy. 
for doing takedowns, so we'll need to make this quick. As quick as humanly possible. Come on. Bingo. Another pocket secretary. Holy war? <laughs> oh my god. This will get you into one of the computers on the office floor. Alright. I don't know what use this will have for me right now, but... Whatever you say, buddy. There's only two left. Oh man, that was instantaneous. Glorious. Where is this guy? Where is he? Oh, there you are. Bingo. What's this one saying? Sending as a Hackam, G Thorpe Hydro. All right. Another one, huh? Me, Hermano. We had to dig through their computer files to find evidence against these pricks. Sea boys send me some p hacked p words for admin building. These are such simple passwords, too. What the hell? Hacking into my boss's computer, employees' computers for fun and profit. Theater Lovers Group, Love of Bounce, and Seconds Run on Broadway. Hmm. We already read this one. Suicide Bomber's Dream. Yeah, no kidding, right? That's what I was thinking too, and I think that's Adam Jensen's idea, or what Adam Jensen thought as well, as he saw it being rolled out. Wait, why am I hacking this? There's already a password here. Hydro. <laughs> Nothing special here either. Some of these computers are actually, or at least some of the computers in the police station are actually, actually belong to, or actually references to other cyberpunk films like Robocop. And I wonder if there are other references in the computers here. Wash out your something. I can't read it. Wash your soda cans before depositing them in the recycling bins. The sugar in those things is attracting all kinds of gnats. Yes, I'm aware that soda is not bad for is not good for me. Thank you for your knowledge. Oh, see, S. Grimes, so Sergeant Grimes, probably right. This one has fairly low security, all things considered.
Access granted. Services restored. Nothing here either. Talon. Tigers Resorials. Huh. Nothing special there. C. Parker. Whoever that is. We're gonna make it. Access granted. Yep, did it. <laughs> Red Wings. As in the hockey team? None of this stuff is useful. <laughs> I'm getting a lot of experience, though, from just uh, hacking them. Should make getting the rest of the upgrades to this game are fairly easy. Or easier, I should say. Not to mention all the free uh, programs, which is the real reason I'm doing this. Access granted. No, I wasn't able to get whatever that was. Damn it. Okay, we got a few more computers hack here. Well, a couple more, actually. F. Brooks? Max Brooks, maybe? Nah. Alright, here we go. Access granted. Now another barbecue, another year sober. Hmm. Cool. M. Ross. Alex Jones is really going off on whoever it was that Access they got back granted. there. Ooh, money. And with that, I'm fairly sure I have hacked every computer down here. This human revolution, you could say. Am I right? Okay. That's enough screwing around. Let's get to the head office. Goodness knows, I'm almost out of ammunition. Artificial muscles. A Hugh Darrow. In 2009? I appreciate that they got some... They actually did speak with some, bio, with some actual biomedical engineers to get an idea of how this stuff actually works in real life. So you can make their fiction all the more realistic I wondered if 10 years ago the designers of this game realized that a lot of the stuff that appears in Deus Ex would appear in real life too don't lie to me I don't want to hurt you you're a civilian but I will if you don't give me a choice if you didn't want to hurt anyone you should have stayed home tonight oh look mm -hmm. Seraph's attack dog you're here to clean up before the police bust in? You think we're breaking the law? Shut up! All you body polluters break laws. You're all the same. You're gonna have a hard time convincing people you're any different once they hear you had an AUG on your team. What? I found your attack dog in the factory labs, trying to cut through security with his implanted hackware. Nice try, Tolo. But I would never let one of you freaks on my crew. Ah! Back off, Hector! 
I got business to take care of, understand? If what you say is true, and I'm not saying it is, you hear me? But I gotta, I gotta check things out. So me and La Vieja, we're leaving. Uh, no, you're not leaving with her. Civilians. Damn right. I'm a decorated vet. And I won't be jerked around. I need to find out who's behind this, and right now the boss lady is my only ticket out. Listen to me. Time to do some charisma rolls. It's big. You've got a better chance of getting to the bottom of it if you work with me. But I can't do a thing until you let her go. Are you stupid? I don't work with dogs. God, you must think I'm some kind of moron. And who can blame you? Because it's exactly what it must look like to everyone right now. Trapped in here by the cops, and my only option is to take a hostage. How screwed up is that? still standing, and that's more than the hacker was expecting. You said you're a vet, so I know you've got the balls to handle this. You don't need the civilian to get you out of here. <laughs> you got a good point there, but still, I've got to exploit my advantage. And as long as I hold on to this lady here, you and the cops will be way too scared to come near me. Face it, you got outmaneuvered. It's been a while since I've done this. There's a very specific set of choices, though. The only thing the cops are focused on right now is the safety of the civilians. Same as you. You've risked your life to do what's best for other people. You're not some drive-by banger. Right. Like I need the approval of somebody who sold the soul to the biomod industry. You've wasted enough of my time. That chink wire had reused my brother and screwed us over. Just like your kind always does. I gotta find out why, so shove off, dear box. Oh, no. Okay, so calling him stupid is not going to work. I think appealing to his sense of honor might be the correct option. Nothing else to say. No, 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 no. No. Don't don't freak out. You've got more honor than the man who betrayed you. You're not going to let your brother down like this. The hacker was expecting civilians to be in the building tonight. You were supposed to take hostages and force the cops to silence you permanently. But you're smarter than he is. Oh, so obvious. There you go. Can't believe I didn't see it till now. He thinks he can just lead me to my death? Think again, cabrón. Get out of here. Hmm. I did what you wanted, so let me go. I got Blade here too, I said. I've got as much interest in finding out who's really behind this as you do, Cameron. Yeah, well, maybe I'll owe you one. But I promise you this, someone's gonna pay. Any sign of him? Adam! Adam, what's happening? What's your situation? Adam! Sanders awesome. is gone, boss. But I'm pretty sure he's just a dupe. Somebody else set this up. Damn it. 
Okay, I want you back here now. The admin building has a rooftop terrace. Meet Farida on it. Copy. Jensen out. I'm not gonna lie, that was a little bit stressful. <laughs> Way to secure the terrorist leader, Jensen. Now the bastard's free to spread his lies and cause more trouble. Give me some slack. Jensen? You're the guy who was sent in before us? Those hostages owe you a lot. Nice going. Damn right. Cops are just gonna let me casually hack this computer as well. Gotta get that experience somehow, right? Looks like the security is fairly weak on this one, though. Oh. Ha! Huh. Here's a Nigerian prince scam. I don't think there's anything special in this room, but... Aha! shaken up but what about the other hostages my husband was with them in one of the assembly labs and i overheard talk about a bomb don't worry they're safe oh thank god when those men surprised us mr jensen they should not have been able to get in with the typhoon being moved in and all i double checked the protocols myself yeah i expect pritchard's doing the same thing right now stay here DPD will want to question you. But you and your husband should be reunited soon. Thank you, Mr. Jensen. You're a hero. You better believe it. Better than my previous runs, anyway. Very easy to miss stuff here when you're not checking every nook and cranny. I still don't get why there's these weird numbers in this club. Coordinates or something? Who knows? Way to secure the terrorist leader, Jensen. I can't believe they made now us wait out here while we spread his lies and cause more trouble. Who knows what he'll do now? You Sarah's boy? What the hell happened in there? Nice job securing the I thought you were supposed to have a I was not a security guard could handle How the hell did you let the bastard get away? You dropped the ball, pal. <laughs> Sorry, Mr. Thorpe. The target is on lockdown. I can't let anyone in. But my wife, she's still in there. I, I, I need to know that she's okay. You'll have to wait until the building is secure. Now back up and let the SWAT team do their job, please. My wife, is she all right? She's fine. A little shaken up, though. SWAT will need to debrief her, but you'll see her soon. I, I don't know what to say. I, I think I've given up on her. You're a true hero, man. I'll find some way to repay this, I swear. There's no need for that. I was just doing my job. Don't be modest. I, I didn't recognize you before, but I know who you are, Mr. Jensen. And I know you weren't supposed to be back at work yet, but thank God you are. I'll be in touch. Count on it. Hmm. Yeah, this is all, a lot of this stuff is actually new to me. Because I've never really saved the plant manager and all that before in previous run-throughs. I didn't know how to. Get going. Hey, Farida. You made a lot of people happy tonight, Jensen. And not just the men in suits. It's what they pay me for. No. They pay you to put corporate interests ahead of people. You found a way to satisfy everyone. Guess Dr. Reed was telling the truth about you. Megan? What are you talking about, Malik? Before you were hired. She said the papers were lying about Mexican town. That you weren't fired from the force. You quit when you realized protect and serve had become protect and serve the corporate interest. You mean like today? <laughs> nice to see she was right. You ready to go? Things have been protected. The police in this country don't really protect and serve the common man. They protect and serve the state. But that is a thread for a different time, chat. Yeah, get me out of here, Malik. Your wish is by command. Climb in.
so much yellow filter everywhere. Back home in Detroit. I know, right? All that glorious smoke. Holy shit, this game is still so loud. I feel like I'm fighting the sound. Really, really fighting with the sound just now. New orders just in, Jensen. The boss wants Pritchard to examine the Typhoon ASAP. Copy that. Thanks for the lift. No problem. Hey, and, uh, Jensen. I just wanted to say, new look suits you. Like, you haven't missed a beat at all. Thanks. So, how's it feel? Being augmented. Excuse me? Don't take it the wrong way. I mean, I've got a few neuro enhancements myself. Uh, discreet ones to help me fly better. But I chose to get them implanted. You didn't. Now that you had a chance to try them out, what do you think? I'm not gonna lie and say they didn't come in handy back there. But like you said, I didn't choose to get augmented. So it'll take some getting used to. I get it. But don't be surprised if the boss keeps pushing you to get more. Why? What do you mean? You know how he is. He thinks <laughs> augmentations are the be-all, end-all of everything. And he can't understand why someone wouldn't want to become more than human. Megan used to say the same thing. I'm not surprised. The research she was doing was pretty damn inspired. Might have convinced a lot more people to give what we make here a try. If... If that bastard hadn't killed her. Listen, Jensen. I know you want to find the men who attacked us, and so do I. If I can help in any way, all you gotta do is ask. Actually, there is something. I want to know about the first attack. Fine. Ask away. Did anyone else see them? The men who attacked? Not well enough to get a description. Pritchard got some fuzzy images off one of the IntelliCams, but his tapes were all confiscated by Homeland Security. Homeland Security? Homeland. I heard Homicide passed it over to Special Investigations. Detroit Special Investigations. They did. For the first month. After that, all I really know is the case is still pending, and Mr. Seraph is not pleased. Yeah, no shit, right? DHS got involved. No one likes it when DHS gets involved with something. You were there that night. What do you remember about it? That it was chaos. First, everybody figured there'd been some kind of accident, but Pritchard couldn't get a good visual and communications were haywire. Then we heard the explosions. By the time anyone knew what had hit us... They were gone. Whoever they were, they were good, Jensen. Special training good. I've been thinking about why they attacked. What they were really after. Isn't it obvious? They didn't want us going to Washington. No, Damn, that was right. just timing. Hearings can be rescheduled. Somebody else can present Megan's findings. I don't think so, Jensen. They took out her whole team. Declan Faraday, Vasily Sevchenko, Nia Colvin, even Eric Koss. The labs their bodies were found in. Were burned to a crisp. I know. The only reason you weren't caught in the fire was because that retaining wall came down. Saved your life, believe it or not. So the whole attack was just to destroy Megan's research. Sure looks that way. Mr. Seraph is hoping to reconstruct it, but it may take months. If he can keep us solvent that long. I'm sure I will. I'm gonna find him, Malik. One, One way, way or another. another. I believe you. And just so you know, when you do, I've got your back. I appreciate that, Malik, but right now... You've got to get the Typhoon into the tech lab, right. See you later, then. Oh, and Jensen, the boss wants a face-to-face -face debrief in his office once What's it's secure. secure. Roger that. Good night, Malik. This time, though, Seraph can wait. I got shit to do. I think it's disgusting how public opinion has turned on David so quickly. Like it's his fault these lunatics keep attacking us. That does seem kind of strange. Only because Eliza Kazan keeps spinning it that way. Seriously. It used to be that when David talked, mm. all of Detroit listened. What happened? What happened is that David made too many promises he couldn't keep. 20 years ago, Detroit was on its last legs, remember? 
and Seraph Industries promised to pick it back up. Oh, like one company and one man can do that by himself. They're a bunch of ungrateful hacks, if you ask me. Yeah, ungrateful to your corporate masters. Uh, to be fair, getting attacked is sucky by anyone. Can someone tell me how the purists were even able to break into the plant? We're supposed to have state-of-the-art security measures here. Yeah. That is a good question, my dude. Good question indeed. Jensen, you were there at the plant. What happened? How did that monster get away from you? Wish I knew. Anti-Og Tiger coming to Mullins Convention Center. Niyashia Kakim. A fully augmented Nigerian pop star. As a woman of color, living with augmentations is a challenge. You become a stranger in every culture, and neuropoison is so expensive. Thank God I'm blessed enough to be able to afford it. Oh, she was actually critically injured during a terrorist attack. No wonder. So that's why she's fully augged. Hey, pizza. Taggart. Sure you have, Mr. Taggart. I don't buy for a second he was with Purity first. I think someone slipped him into Sandra's group to manipulate his son. Hey, Frank. What you up to? Well, if it isn't Mahatma Gandhi himself. Come to honor us all with his life-preserving presence. If this is about the typhoon, I'll get to it in a minute. Now, Pritchard. I didn't risk my neck to have you lose it in a pile of CPUs and SCSI adapters. Well, look at you, using the big words. <laughs> Don't think just because you hacked through the plant security system so fast that you're an expert on everything computer. There's a reason I can't examine the typhoon yet. Do tell. For your information, I am running a diagnostic sweep on our network and router security to find out how Sanders Hacker got a hold of our codes. I'd have thought the first question to ask is, whose codes were they? Unless you already know. Stick to kicking down doors and shooting people, Jensen, and stop trying to do my job. I guarantee you we'll get along better that way. Asshole. All right, let's go ahead and go back to my security office from earlier and continue reading those emails. Unlike last time, I don't think that this is timed, so I should be able to go visit my office and read my emails uh, unmolested. Meet with Greg Thorpe? Right. Well, lucky for us, Jensen was there to recover him. Third floor condo in Brooklyn Court, over in Detroit, the city. You can find the entrance behind the Second Street gas station. Stop in by next time you're in the city and I'll have something for you. Oh, that's cool. Adam, I really don't mean to bug you, I just I think I know a suspect in who's. They were poison thefts. I called Denzel Mitchell going over my stack of Versailles purchase orders. He said he needed to verify the legal address for his contract. David wanted him to look over, but he already had an address on a dozen correspondences already. For a lawyer, you think he would come up with a better defense. 1364. Hmm. Office 23, 3716. Let's go there first. Okay. I should be on the second floor since it's Office 23. That's not Office 23, that's 22. Wait, then where's 23? 
How did it skip from 20 to... God damn it. Uh, where are these things? Oh, here we go. The way they set up these office numbers is driving me mad. 3716. The next few decades, will, where will we be in 2050? We will be in Deus Ex, the original Deus Ex. Corporations. That's one thing I'm not sure would actually happen in the real world. Or at least they don't seem to be. New access code. Room 9642, huh? Plot thickens, chat. Onwards, upstairs. Yeah, it is funny, actually. Sucks how it happens. Interesting. We're gonna hack your computer now. Our security rating's too low. Shit. Unless... I'm pretty sure we leveled up earlier. So... We might be able to... Yeah, we do. We can. We can actually... Start putting skill points into things. Eye augmentation, such as smart vision. Back augmentation, such as the reflex booster and Icarus landing system. Dermal armor, so we don't die as fast. A cloaking system. Cybernetic legs, so we could jump over shit. Better aim. And an energy converter, so we can take down more people at a time. The possibilities are endless. Social Enhancer also helps too. Makes it easier to finish charisma rolls. But we won't need that for a little bit. I'll be getting more. I'll be getting a new another Praxis point fairly soon. I wonder if I need the ra if I should get the radar system now or later though.
personally, I want to be able to unlock to unlock these skills that allow me to get through places a lot quicker. I think I might actually need punch through wall or carrying capacity or throw heavy objects fairly soon so I can destroy things. If I keep playing as I am right now, where I'm focusing on trying to get as much experience as possible, it won't be too hard, I think, to unlock everything. Okay, see, this is just cool. You can penetrate walls. I want to get this one, too, where you can take down multiple opponents. Wall punch is really fun, yeah. This one helps it, makes it easier to um, screw with people. And this, uh, hmm. don't need that one that much, actually. All right. Let's go ahead and <sighs> Eh. There we go. That should be helpful. Here's our goal. Oh, I know. Here's our goal. If I'm lucky... I am not lucky. I got eight seconds. Oh, I'm not gonna make it. Damn. I got a few more tries, though. I had to wait a good 30 seconds or so. 15 minutes left of today's stream unless I decide to go until 1 o'clock tonight. Makes me curious. I think the first mission was fairly tiring, especially since this is the first time I've played Deus Ex in a while. So I think we can probably do a few more story bits, maybe walk around the city of Detroit a little bit. And then we'll call it a night. Oh, the password's Eclipse. Okay. That's good to know. Access granted. Ha! Grey hot. Oh my god. Uh... I see what you're talking about now. That's cute. A lot of ebooks here to read later. Wasn't there another thing I was going to... Denzel Mitchell is on... Door code is 1364, but where is his... Hmm. Where is his room, is my question. I guess I could just look for it manually. Check it out, though. I'm gonna steal some money from this person's room.
to one and a half times your regular rate of pay. A one for one exchange of overtime for paid vacation hours once project deadlines have been reached. That's kind of mean. That's typical corporate stuff for you. <laughs> so Shiny Ferret was in on it this whole time. Bell Tower. The mercenary group. It took over after blue after Blue Water failed, which is basically this game's version of Blackwater. Now then, where is Denzel Washington? I mean Denzel Denzel Persons uh, room. Tim Carella. Here it is. One, three, six, four. Global politics in the two thousands. This game was made before the pandemic was a thing, though. Which has really flipped the political sphere. Free food! Tai Young Medical. This lawyer. And to read this, actually, for chat. Frenetic phony. We can't let SWAT to the plant. There's too much at stake. I'm calling Jensen and he's still on medical leave, T. Markova gave him a clear bill of health last week. And how much pressure was she under, huh? I resent that accusation. I resent it all you like, but you hired me to protect your ass. You got away with the surgeries because of that little neat little clause we had in his contract. But if something happens to him now, I won't. Trust me. It's your call, boss. We saved his life for God's sake. I don't think he'll be suing us anytime soon. Especially not even though I now know the reason. Asshole. Alright. Chat, we're gonna go upstairs to... Actually, let's go downstairs where we see and see really quick and see if Cindy has anything new to say. This whole thing just brings back bad memories. I love working here, but it's hard knowing that at any second, God, I can't talk about it. What if another bunch of radicals burst through the door like right now and start shooting? I know. It's so awful. Because you'd be the first to... I mean, you'd be... I'd be the first to what? Uh, nothing. Forget it. Well, we actually have security guards here, honey. Nice job tonight, Adam. I heard most of those vandals got arrested peacefully. Things could have been so much worse. Mr. Jensen! Oh, everyone's talking about what a great job you did saving the hostages. You're a real hero, sir. Can I... can I help you find something? Yeah, that's cool. Thanks, I'll find my way. Of course. Have a good evening, sir. I like how, just like in the original Deus Ex, the way you play this game changes the way people feel about you. But they don't have the right to ostracize you for yours. They think I'm some kind of evil farmer. They say I'm harvesting fake body parts and allowing the butchers of the human race to carry out their plan. It's just awful. We all know how divided this country is right now. Gee, this sounds familiar. So did the Iraq War, Texas separatism. 
at the end of the day, you have to do what you feel is right. Maybe a little bit too close to home, right? Talks all over the office, Mr. Jay. You really took care of those purity first assholes. Wish I could have been there to see them. Has to leave. And the game is not going to let me leave just yet because I need to continue doing the objectives. All right, then. I don't know why, but I'm starting to get really tired right now anyway. <laughs> so I might actually call it at our usual time here in around 10 minutes or so. I'm getting lost again. Should probably take the elevator. That's what I'm missing. Let's go take a look outside. Entertaining Detroit, Soloto. I'm telling you, Hugh, he might not have put the gun in Sanders' hand, but it was Taggart's speech to the UN that started all this. William Taggart is nothing if not a shrewd political operator. You know that, David. So for the sake of appearances, I have to look him in the eye and let him bullshit me? With a smile. Always with a smile. We'll talk later. Yeah, you wanted to see me? Yeah, how you feeling? I've had better days. Well, when we're done here, Check him at Dr. Markovic at the limb clinic downtown. Paint her to get a checkup. If you insist. Listen, about Sanders? Yeah, about Sanders. What the hell were you thinking? Letting him slip away like that? I sent you in there to take care of things. And I did. The Typhoon is safe. Sanders didn't know about it. He didn't even know his hacker was augmented. He's not the mastermind behind this, boss. So you cut him a break? The man broke into my facility and took hostages at him. I thought you were ready for this. I am. Today's attack was just a shell game being run by somebody else. I intend to find out who and why so that it never happens to anybody again. Good, because so do I. That hacker in Sanders' group you're sure he was augmented? I pulled his cables out myself. Yeah, well, the police are saying he's not, and they're refusing to let me see the body, no matter how much money I threaten to pull from their retirement <laughs> fund. Maybe someone else is offering more. So what do you want me to do, boss? We have to get a look at the corpse. You've still got friends on the force. You think, uh... You think one of them will let you into the morgue? Depends who I run into. Get over to the station and find a way inside. Because if that hacker was augmented, his neural hub might tell us who he was. Contact me when you've gotten a hold of it. Boss, what you're asking me to do is not exactly legal. No, it isn't. <laughs> you got a problem with that? Uh just figured I'd point it out. Oh, thanks. And believe me, if I had another option, we'd be taking it. But these past six months, seems like all the influence I built up in this city just dried up and blew away. Well, you were able to keep SWAT from infiltrating the plant until I got the typhoon. Just barely. And now someone else is pulling strings to keep us in the dark? We need that neural hub, son. It's key to finding out who's behind these attacks. And taking up the men who did it. I'm on it. Yeah, another practice point received. And for some reason they got a thousand of getting things done. And I fully intend to use that to make our f future charisma rolls 
a lot easier. Oh, for fuck's sake. It requires one practice, requires two practice practices. Uh, we are going to have to hold on to that until we get a better option. Next practice is 4,820. That's not too bad. We could probably make that way before we head to the police station just from doing odd jobs around town. I'm going to show you all the outside before we end for tonight. Adam, were you just speaking to David? I didn't know he'd finished his call. Is everything okay? As well as can be expected. Right, like I know what that means anymore. The phone's been ringing off the hook ever since Bill Taggart's little press conference this evening. Taggart? Seraph was speaking about him when I walked in. What's the founder of the Humanity Front saying about us now? Oh, he's all sincere this time. Denouncing all the violence that's been committed against us, offering to come here in person to express his deepest sympathies. Right. No wonder the boss seems grumpy. <laughs> Can you blame him? If it were up to Luddites like Taggart, you would have died on that operating table. The problem is, he knows how to play on people's fears. Tampering with human biology can be pretty scary. Tell that to all the war ants whose lives have been improved because of it. But if Taggart has his way, if he can sway popular opinion enough, then the United Nations will be forced to take a stand. Mark my words, that man is trouble. You know this game is fictional because she thinks the United Nations will do jack shit. <laughs> uh... You better get going, Adam. I'm sure whatever David's asked you to do must be... They barely did anything during the current political situation, so why would they do it about augmentations? Unless they got someone in the payroll that might not benefit from it. This city is afraid of me. I have seen its true face. Oh shit. What's going on in my office? Is someone breaking in again? I know I left the door open, but it doesn't give anyone free reign to just do what they please, you know? Honestly. going to my office please I just temporarily forgot which, which direction the office is again it's unfortunately a fairly common occurrence of where it's and I'm the one in control all right who's hiding here who is it hey Jensen glad to see you damn it now I sound like his girlfriend or something what's up hey Tim Jensen Crow. man it's good to see you I'm glad you're back how are you holding up? I manage. I'm sorry about Megan. I know it must be hard. For a while, we thought you were a goner, too. Everything's going to shit. The attack on HQ, and now this mess with the factory. Yeah. Tough times all around. How about you, Corella? You okay? I don't know. I... Uh, I fucked up. I mean bad. What happened? Well, a couple of months ago, me and Tyndall, you know, one of Pritchard's texts, we started sneaking out some neuropazine from one of the labs. Jesus, Tim. You realize this could get you fired. Worse, arrested, if the company chooses to prosecute. What were you thinking? I know. It's just... It's complicated. I didn't want to do it at first, but there were good reasons. Anyway, now I want out, but Tyndall has security footage of me stealing the stuff. And says he'll expose me if I ever stop helping him. I'm in a bad spot, Adam. I need that footage back. I know you're busy with everything that's going on right now, but I could really use your help. Tyndall is kind of a prick, isn't he? Pretty ballsy stealing a patented drug from a secure lab. How'd you manage to do it? Both Tyndall and I work the night shift every other week. I stashed the neuropocene in a bag while he edited the security footage. Guess he kept part of it. Neuropocene? 
What could you guys want with an anti-rejection drug for augmentation patients? Reselling it? Providing a competitor? Why do you automatically assume I was trying to turn a profit? How about Tyndall? Can't you reason with him? You could try, but Tyndall's a pretty driven guy. I mean, the guy's like a rock. You'd need a Casey Og or something to crack him. Casey? Social enhancer. Huh. It's an augmentation designed to read people's reactions and behavioral patterns. Higher end series even allows you to directly influence people with pheromones or something. Sure, we could help you out. Right. Fuck it. Tell me more. Really? Wow. Thanks, Adam. I thought I was done for. The security footage will probably be on his apartment computer. Meet me in front of the subway station parking lot once you get a hold of it. Care to give me a few more details on exactly what it is you want me to do? Oh, yeah, yeah, sure. The footage will probably be in his apartment. On his computer, maybe. So what? I just look him up in the phone book. His apartment is near Brooklyn Court. It might be tough to get in because his building has a large security gate protecting it. Well, that's just great. Hacking the security <laughs> gate is possible, but would require advanced hacking skills. You might have to look around for an alternate path. Maybe use the fire escape or something. That works. Did you get it yet? Adam, please. You have to get that security footage back. Let me get back to you. All right, let's head outside, chat. I'm starting to feel my eyes closed a little bit, so I do apologize if I seem to be getting a little bit tired. But we do want to go outside for a little bit. Touch grass, as it were. So to speak. I've never really touched grass before. It's kind of hard to do that without a body. I have heard it's a pleasant experience. Makes you wonder why Morpheus won't touch grass. Oh, Adam, I'm sorry you startled me. And please, call me Cassandra. You and Megan were together long enough. I was waiting for you. Out here? Why not come meet me inside? I don't know. I guess I'm just not ready. This is where you work. But to me, this is also the place where I lost my daughter. I know what you mean. It's never been the same for me, either. I guess it's not meant to be easy. It seems there's just no right way to deal with something like this. And I can't even begin to imagine how things have been for you after all you've been through. Yeah. A lot of things changed six months ago. I can't get over how much they've changed you. At first, mm. I couldn't even believe you were still alive. How do you handle all of this? Not very well. Ha, <laughs> I never asked for this. I never asked for this. They say they saved me, but I'm not sure saved is the right word. I understand your anger. I wouldn't take too kindly to people making that kind of decision for me, either. But that being said, I for one am glad that you're still among us. Among Can I us? Ask why you wanted to see me? Yes, of course. I'm sorry. I'm here about Megan. About what happened to her. Or rather, about the investigation into what happened. What about it? Well, simply put, I feel something is not quite right with the way the case was handled. You think there was some foul play involved? I do. Call it mother's intuition. But when speaking to some of the investigators, there were a lot of inconsistencies. Indeed there were. And then I met this detective, a man called Chase. He agreed things weren't handled by the book, although he has no proof. And now you want to find out more? I'll never hear my daughter laugh again, Adam. I'll never get a call from her to ask how I've been, or have the chance to ask her about her day. She was stolen from me. 
However unjustified this all is, I still want to know why it happened. You're not the same, Adam, and we've yet to see if it's for better or worse. But I know you loved Megan. Please, will you help me find out what really happened to her? Sure, let's do it. I never got a chance to investigate the attack myself. I'll look into it. Thank you. This means the world to me, Adam. Really. The first thing I'll need to do is meet with this detective, Chase. Good. He works part-time as a security guard in an apartment building on Brooklyn Court. I'll be waiting for you in your apartment lobby once you're done. Why does a detective need to work part-time as a security guard? Oh, he retired soon after the case. I don't really know the details. Maybe he'll tell you more. I'm on it. <laughs> Is there a problem, sir? Nope. My neighbors were there when it happened, you know. The hostage taking at the Sarah plant. The world is so yellow outside. It's crazy. Signs for cars. Elon Musk was about to give us these, or give these to us, I should say, in proper English. You watched the hockey game last night? Wins against the Habs. What a massacre! Police and road closed. All right. Oh my god, my eyes are tired. Chat, we are going to end the stream for now. Thank you for coming to today's inaugural session of Deus Ex. Just gonna do a hard save of this one. My god, the last time I played this game was over seven years ago. Check that out. In June, no less, 2015. I was also playing it on the Give Me Deus Ex um, difficulty back then. It's hard to believe that that was actually seven years ago. Please stick around while we go ahead and look for someone to raid tonight. You get free channel points if you do, and you get to use that to torture me in all sorts of ways during stream. So if you want to grab onto those, feel free to stick around. For some reason, the game is not cr is not uh, closing properly. There you go. All right then. Let's hop into Twitch.tv and see who we can meme with. It's weird too because sometimes this followers list does not show everyone that's in my list. I don't understand why it just are seen and heard. It gets fucky like that sometimes, you know. Who we got tonight? Delta Zero, Aya Nevit, Captain Kite, Gachato Taiga, Taida has recently come back to streaming actually. Uh, Nero Hothep is playing V Rising, Kaiju, Amazing Syrup. Mai is still playing up to now. She must have, I wonder if she's still doing her charity stream or if she just decided to randomly go live. Millie is playing Yu Gi Oh! Dugai Joe is playing Tekken, he's a flesh tuber. Crabster is usually pl doing a talk show, but he appears to be playing uh, Street Fighter V right now. That's interesting. I don't know what Passport Out is. Necromantic Chef with Seven Days to Die. Giraffe Raifu. Do -do 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 -do. Oh, I see. Yancha and M Mai must be playing Overcooked together. Interesting. Wushu is playing Phasmophobia, so he's been streaming for a few hours now. 
I don't think we've actually... Have we... I don't think we have actually... Raided Wushu yet, have we? We didn't wait. We didn't raid Wushu earlier, did we? I'm having memory problems right now. Let me check. Pretty sure we didn't. Hmm. Search. The answer is no, we did not in fact, we did not in fact raid Wushi yet. Let's go ahead and raid him next since he has recently come, recently debuted and recently came back to streaming. Hey, Tear Wolf. Yeah, I have a lot of, I follow a lot of people on Twitch. Almost all of them VTubers. Maybe like one or two or two or three here at Arn. Not many viewers tonight, huh? I guess not many people are interested in watching Deus Ex. We'll see how next week goes. If you think, if there's any game that y'all would prefer that I play instead, feel free to let me know. I just thought Deus Ex would be a great game to cover all the way through since I have not actually finished Human Revolution and Mankind Divided. Tonight's raid message will be the usual. Lulz raid. Gonna pop over here to make sure that he is not uh, leaving just yet. And he is not. Good call. Let's go ahead and get going. I'll see y'all tomorrow for tomorrow morning's or tomorrow morning stream. Not sure yet what we're gonna do tomorrow morning, but we'll think of something. Even if it's just chat, just no, chatting. He's gonna, die. he's gonna die. Try to work with the code. I do not. <gasps> Lulzy. Welcome, raiders. Good to have you. Good to see you. <gasps> oh, is it hunting? Oh, it's hunting. 